Hey guys, it's Claude and welcome. So today I want to show you how I work in Procreate. First I need my stand and it's from IKEA. Uh, the model I'm using is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch and I'm using the paper-like screen protector and the Apple Pencil. Okay, so before we start I want to talk a bit about the brushes I'm gonna use. Um, I have put my favorite brushes in this hard folder and um, the ones I'm using the most I put in this um, quick gesture menu. I also put um, flip the canvas in there just because I use this a whole lot. So the greasy pencil and the colored pencil are by Wowdy and I will put a link in the description where you can download the set if you would like to. And the next one is the Max U Sketch Marker Round Soft. Gee, that's a mouthful. Um, and it is from the Comics Max Pack set. It is by Max Ulichne. And the last one is the Gesinki Ink. <laughs> and now this is a default brush. And I know that I have kept telling people that this is the one that I use for blending. And I just realized that it is a default brush in Procreate, but I must have changed the settings for it somewhere in the last year because they look nothing like um, how, how the brush, uh, the default brush really looks like. I will uh, put um, this on Gumroad, I think, and just uh, put a link in the description also so you can um, download the real thing for free. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> Let's start with the sketch and I always wanted to do something with this photo that I found on Pinterest and yesterday evening I had an idea. So I'm doing this very roughly and while I sketch I also resize bits and pieces of it just to um, try and find the right composition. So once I am done with the rough sketch, I will make another layer and trace the most important lines so I can keep working on it. And once I am done with that, I will then make another layer and just trace the whole thing to have my line out. Now I don't need the sketch layer anymore and I can delete it. Then I will make another layer for the colors. I will put this underneath the line art layer and just start to um, fill in everything very roughly. I'm not really worried about the right color choices yet because this will change throughout the whole illustration. So I just want to start and get a feeling for it and I'm also starting to put in shadows and highlights and different colors just where I think that they might look good. Um, so this is really very rough and I'm not uh, too worried about staying within the lines. I just want to slap a whole bunch of color everywhere and see if this is something that might work for me. After I'm done with the colors, I will then pick the eraser and um, clean this whole thing up. Erase everything that went outside of the lines. Okay, so now the fun part starts. I will make a duplicate of the line art and hide it, just in case I mess things up and I need it again. I will then increase the saturation of the line art, because it looks a bit dark, but it's actually a color, so I will increase the color and um, play around with it a bit. I want everything to be a bit more reddish. Mm, so after I am done with the coloring of the line art I will then select just the leaves because I want the outlines of the leaves to be um, more of a blue. And once I am happy with the lines I will then merge the colors and the lines together to one layer. Thank you. 
So now that I have only one layer to work with, I can make uh, different adjustments because I really didn't like the way the gramophone turned out. I want to scale it a bit. And this is a lot easier if you have just one layer to work with instead of a separate line art and coloring layer. So I will continue to do adjustments to the illustration in places where I'm not so happy about it and I will um, select clipping mask on the layer um, depending on whether I'm happy with the edges or I need to actually work on the edges and I don't know if um, you guys already know but um, if you select clipping mask and I hope that's what it's called in English um, because I have procreate settings on German but if you select that then um, you will be able to uh, stay within the colors so you will never um, paint outside of the colors and um, I'm just gonna use the Gazinki ink brush and sometimes the soft brush or the greasy pencil depending on whether I want to blend colors or make a bit more uh, rough edges with a greasy pencil so that's that's pretty much my whole process I don't know if this is the most um, effective way to work because I'm pretty much jumping all over the place and not staying too long in just one spot. Um, this helps me to keep things interesting but it also um, helps me not to overwork just one spot. Let's say if I were to stay zoomed in on the sleeve for, I don't know, maybe an half an hour or an hour just because I get lost in it, then by the end this might be the most beautiful leaf ever but the whole rest of the illustration still looks like shit so if i keep jumping in this illustration then everything comes together as a whole and i don't overwork just one bit um, because i really like my illustrations to look a bit rough on the edges not everything, sometimes I really do get sucked in, but I really like when some uh, bits and pieces look a bit unfinished and you can actually see the strokes still there. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just a personal preference. I do admire this really beautiful rendered um, paintings or illustrations. Uh, and even though I admire them, it's just not something that works for me. But you know, with time, I think I will get a bit quicker just with drawing and painting in general. So maybe um, in, in a year or so, I would uh, spend the same amount of time that I spend on this and have something a lot more polished. It's just something that I don't try to force myself on and I just um, want to keep working in a way that evolves naturally and without me being frustrated. So making this video actually got me really thinking about my process, um, which I never really do. Um, I kind of just go along and never really stop to think about why I'm doing the things that I'm doing or since when I'm doing this. So it's really nice actually to um, reflect a bit and I realized that I haven't been um, working in this kind of way for very long because I remember that I used to work with a whole lot of layers. I had layers for everything. I had layers for the eye color, the skin color, the hair, line art and everything was just a layer mess. And um, I think when I got the iPad, that's when I really started to um, draw again on a uh, regular basis because I had quite a long break from drawing um, since my early 20s. And when I picked up drawing again and started working on the iPad, um, I got really impatient. And I think that's why I am working on just one layer now because I realized that if I work with a whole bunch of layers and I 
decide to change something somewhere along the line, then I would need to change the line layer and then I will change the color layer. Oh, and I had a layer for every little shadow and um, I ended up not really finishing anything when I um, had a, a, a issue with something. If I had to change up something big in the illustration, then I would just feel kind of defeated because I knew I had to work through all of these layers just to make the change. I know that I always admired people for um, just doing this one layer thing and just painting everything, background, foreground, the character, everything just in one layer and to me it seemed like so complicated and I was just scared. But now I realize that it's actually a whole lot easier to work only with one layer because if you mess something up then you just resize it or paint over it and you don't have to go to hundreds of layers just to make this one change. Um, so yeah, it was actually kind of nice to, to realize that I had started to work in a way that um, for a long time seemed a bit scary to me. So um, I finished this uh, yesterday morning, or at least I thought it was finished, but when I got back from work in the evening, I decided to work on it a bit more. And I didn't screen record the process just because I didn't know if this would go anywhere. But I ended up changing um, quite a bit of things, so here's just a Procreate Time Lapse uh, video. Yeah, you didn't really miss anything, it's just the same old... Uh, working in one layer with the Gazinki ink brush and the greasy pencil and sometimes the soft marker brush so um, I didn't do anything differently that I um, could tell you about but yeah I'm actually quite happy with this one I had a bit of a rough patch this weekend um, in terms of art I didn't really manage to do a whole lot or at least not anything that I really liked Hey, so I was just editing and I realized that I never really showed you how the finished illustration looks. So this is it after I adjusted the colors in uh, Photoshop and I really like it. So um, wait, let, me, let me flip you up. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, sign off properly. Um, I have still ooh, five minutes left before I have to get to work and I hope you enjoyed this. I don't know if you have learned a whole lot just because this wasn't much of a tutorial. Um, as I said most of the time I really don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing and I barely stop to think about it. But maybe by doing this video uh, I will actually actively think while I draw and paint. So um, yeah. I hope you could pick up something uh, helpful or this was somewhat entertaining and uh, leave a thumbs up, comment, subscribe and all that fun YouTube stuff and see you in the next one. Bye!